Yep, this dead ends. So there's probably a chest or something over here. Get this out of here. Stupid vines. How dare they exist. Okay, let's fight this freaking nature. Seed? It's literally called Seed. What even is this? Alright, wait a second. I wanna- No, no, no. Like, hit one of the ones in the middle here so I can hit all of them with my claw. Ah, oh, whatever. Screw it. Just claw whatever I can. Probably should've used, like, a fire attack on that thing, but, you know, whatever. Get that one out of there. You're next to die on the list of deaths. Get thundered. Beautiful. I do quite love being up to five souls. I'm thinking I got a new new strategy going on. I think you just spam. I wish I had power like that. I'd forget about it if I were you. Yeah, you'll end up becoming a dragon man. Which is going to happen inevitably anyways. I wonder if that will happen in this game. Probably not, since uh, Aizen appears to be a main character. But it would be cool if we had him turn into a dragon in this game and then, like, have to abandon him. That'd be horrible, but it would really set up for what happens in Zestiria. Oh, is this just dead end? I thought that we'd get a uh, chest. Well, we got that chest right there, so I guess technically we didn't. I thought there would be a chest right on the edge, though. Anyways, back around we go. What was I saying? I keep losing my train of thought. Oh, well. Probably wasn't too important. I'll think of it eventually. Maybe. Hopefully. Potentially. Or I'll remember it when I go back and edit this video. And I see myself talking. Time will tell. Oh, right. My new new strategy is basically spam the claw until things are dead. And then you'll, like, kill three things at once and get back up to, like, four souls. So even when you're down to two souls, just use the claw until you've got uh, until you've got some kills going. We have a cat chest over here, which I assume I'm going to take advantage of. Let's do it. Uh, 35. That's not too bad. What a shock! We found a cat. What did what did I get from said cat? Is the game going to tell me? Up to 100 again. Yeah, we could definitely have afforded to spend those 35. Did the cat not give me anything? Well, screw you, cat. Is it possible for the cats to just be worthless? I would assume so. I don't understand how cats work, man. We have destroyed so much foliage. Also, we've reached a save point, which leads me to believe... Then we're gonna have something fancy going on here to say, let's fight this thing. Move Get some spider claw. kills going. Alright. So now we just spam the claw until we kill like eight things at once. That's that's my idea here. It could be horribly flawed, but you know, when does that ever stop me? Oh hey, you cannot use the claw when you're at two souls. Duly noted. I was not aware of this fact. I thought that you definitely could. Oh no, you still can. No, I think I got up a soul before I used it there, actually. I don't know. Look at all that beautiful damage though, who cares? Keep consuming things until there's nothing left to consume. That's how you win. Come on, really? That's some good uh, experience there. Oh my goodness, it's a freaking turtle! Not these freaks. Turtles! Turtles! Why? Are you a turtle demon or something? No, no, you got it all wrong. I'm the White Turtles. Sorry about spooking you, Zol. If you're not a demon. Then perhaps you're a Moloch. Nope. I'm just a plain old Toidles. Nothing more and nothing less. I'm sure you guys have lots of questions about me. But for now, I'd appreciate it if you could hold off on them. Uh, right. Sure, if you insist. Much obliged. The Turtles are traveling merchants of considerable savvy. Their services could be quite useful for members of the underworld like us. You don't say. Sounds handy. You betcha! And that old white turtle shop, we believe the customer's smile is what matters most. That being said, this being where it is, my prices unfortunately might be a little on the high. Oh no, you're going to give us a bargain. I'd love to do that, Zs. But when you do business out in remote areas like this, the costs add up and, well... You're just taking advantage of the situation. Um, I can't entirely deny that, but... Then that settles it. 
You'll do business with us at market prices, and that's final. We should seal the deal with a smile, too, since it matters so much to him. Like this. <laughs> much obliged. I love playing a game where the characters are, uh... They don't care. <laughs> They'll just do what they want. At these prices, I'm gonna go in the reds. I hate everything about that. I'm so upset that I read it the way that I did. Uh, a sale on amber daggers. Do you... I don't have these. No, I don't. So I should buy that for whenever you master your shadow blades. You can master whatever is on that next. Amber bag? Well, okay. I want him to wear it eventually, I guess. Then we got some waistcoats. Very good. Let me go ahead and buy two of these. Hey, level two. Increases map movement speed by 10%. That's really handy. Uh, go ahead and get another... This one is for velvet. I want another amber one, too. There we go. Then we should be good on everything else, it looks like. I could go ahead and buy the battle boots to put them on to, uh, put them on to, uh, oh, no, no, no. Velvet has, uh, battle boots. I mean, amber boots to put on to Velvet, but I'd rather just, like, save my money and finish leveling them up on, uh, on Rokuro, because he's almost done with them, and then I can just switch his and, uh, his and Velvet shoes. That seems like a much better strategy to me. But all right. I think we're good now, then? I haven't been using apple gels very much, but I'm going to go ahead and buy two more just to be on the safe side. Because we, we're good on money right now. We can afford it. Uh, we could do some enhancing and dismantling. I'm going to hold off on that for now. Enhancing and dismantling is probably something I won't do consistently. But, like, every couple of sessions I'll be like, alright, we're going to take, like, ten minutes to do a lot of enhancing and dismantling. That's how I normally handle stuff like that. I wanted to look and see how close are you to finishing your... I shouldn't have gone to your status. I wanted to go to equipment. Uh, has anyone mastered things that need to be switched around? You're almost done... Uh, with a lot of your stuff. You've mastered the battle boots, right. But we're waiting on the, uh... The amber boots to be done on someone. Yeah, he's almost done with it. You'll be able to switch shoes with Rokuro soon. And then we just got my boy here, Aizen. He's got a lot of work to do with, uh, leveling stuff up, but that's fine. Em empty hand. Oh, that's his title. I thought that was an item. I'm like, what kind of an item is empty hand? Hello? Alright, so we don't have any, uh... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Done with the waistcoat. Switch to the amber one. There you go. You're getting really close to mastering a bunch of other stuff. We're going to hold off a second. Or, well, obviously we have to hold off a second. We have to wait until you finish mastering them. But you'll master them soon, and then we'll switch them around. Uh. <laughs> you sure know how to drive a hard bargain, Velvet. What else was I supposed to do? Would you rather I devoured him and swiped all his stuff? You're more frightening than the Reaper. Still, that Turtles was an interesting guy. It's a big world, kid. A lot of strange folks out there. So I'm discovering. <laughs> he probably took one look at us and thought the very same thing. Hmm. A demon, a Moloch, and a Reaper. We've got it all. Ain't that the truth? Yep, very diverse group we have going on here. Tis the norm with the Tales of series. What's in a name? What are turtles, anyway? Some sort of turtle men. Yeah, but what are they? They are what they are. All you need to know is that they're good at peddling things. They're probably just called turtles because they wear all those sea turtle shells on their backs. After all, Rokuro means sixth son, and that's what I am. I was Teresa's second tethered Malakim, so I was number two. That's a title, not a name. Huh? Would someone just give the kid a name already? A name... for me? <sighs> You'll get a name eventually, don't worry. Probably whenever we figure out how to, like, free your free will. Because <laughs> that seems like something we'll probably get to eventually. I thought that, uh... I'm kind of surprised. You know, obviously... Oh, hey, we got the warp point thing here. That's handy. Go ahead and turn that on. I think just stepping through it turns it on, potentially. I should probably press X on it to be sure. All right. But anyways, I didn't think that, uh, there's nothing to grab there. I didn't think that the Malakim, since, you know, their free will is gone and everything, just from physically getting away from their exorcists would allow them to obey anyone else. But apparently that's how it goes. Works out for us, at least. Ba -dum -bum 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 -ba -dum. 
I was talking with some guys in the comments, a couple of buddies of mine, Lone Wolf and uh, uh, Igneous Bard. I was trying to think. He's got like three different names over his different things, so I was trying to think of which one to go by. I decided the one that he has his PlayStation name set as. But uh, they were chatting about uh, stuff from Zestiria that may show up in this game. Mercury Satchel is pretty nice. Talking about things from Zestiria that might show up in this game. I personally was thinking about the Lord of Calamity. I was wondering if they were going to touch it on that at all in this game. Because the ultimate demon who has the most malevolence, which in this game's terms would be uh, the ultimate... Or the ultimate Hellion who has the most... Um, malevolence is the Lord of Calamity. I think that's how it works in Zestiria. In this game, the terms would be the ultimate daemon, or demon. I keep saying daemon, man. I'm just used to saying daemon. The ultimate demon would, uh, have the most demon blight, I suppose, and would become the Lord of Calamity. I wonder if they're gonna do anything with that in this game, as well as, uh, Matelis, which was, like, the ultimate Seraphim spirit, which means he must be the ultimate Malachim spirit. Looks like Eifried's first mate has a strange superstition. It's just a habit. Only comes up tails anyway. What land did that coin come from? I've never seen a coin with a goddess on one side and the reaper on the other. Strictly speaking, that's not the reaper on the back. It's an image of the demon king, Daos. Where have I heard that name before? Martel the goddess, and Daos the demon king. The Book of Ragnarok, chapter 765. The Battle of Idrisil. Whoa, you're awfully well read. The coin was dug up from some ancient ruins in another land. They called the place Carlin long ago. It's made from soft, ordinary gold, but they had some process to harden the metal and make it resistant to scratches. Wow, that's a rather rare find then. Do you like to read books? Teresa's chamber was full of them, so I spent a lot of time reading. Ragnarok is a record of battles from the Age of Myth. I've read it several times now. Anyway, coins like that are hard to come by. Where did you get it? It's a long story. Never mind then. So, were you deciding something with that coin toss? Not anything I can talk about yet. Oh, I'm sorry for prying. Uh, I think that they just tied in Tales of Symphonia to this game. In Tales of Symphonia, I think Carlon is the name of the holy land that Yggdrasil was a... Uh operated from with all of his angels, and the goddess Martell was Yggdrasil's sister, who the entire religion was based around making her a new body because uh, her body had failed or something, and Yggdrasil was trying his best to uh, give her a new body through the Chosen system. Uh, I'm not entirely- Carlon might not have been the name of the world, but I definitely remember the word Carlon and Martell were both- Martell was definitely the goddess in Symphonia, and Carlon was definitely a word used for something. I'm pretty sure it was the name of the Holy Land or whatever that Yggdrasil resided in. Uh, and obviously, they mentioned Yggdrasil, which was the name of the primary antagonist in that game. So that's really, really interesting. I don't remember anything from Tales of Symphonia about a demon king named Daos, though. It's been a lo It's been even longer since I played Symphonia. That is the Tales game that I've had the least uh, interaction with since I played it. Burnak Plateau, the Great Junction. Because Symphonia was my first one. I haven't played Symphonia since I first did it on the channel. That was like two, two to three, two to three years ago, somewhere around there. I can't remember exactly. Oh. That looks, uh, dangerous. How much time do I have? I still got about five to ten minutes. Looks like we want to go this way instead of the way over next to all of the, uh, orderlies. Let's fight this guy. You're fighting the Reaper. Yeah, man, you're fighting the Reaper. You stand no chance. Just give up now. Why even bother? Prepare to get consumed, you stupid animals. Ah, uh, now we're talking. The Scarlet Edge. Beautiful. These things are a little more resistant than the other ones we were fighting in the cave. That's one down. I need to consume you. Don't mind me. Yep, there you go. Consumption. Very nice. Die, you stupid wolf. Give me your souls. All your souls are belong to us. Come back here. Don't run from me. Who do you think you are? Get over here. I'm gonna kill you. There you go. I'm gonna come over here and steal whoever's kill that was. And then there was one foolish beast left. Victory is ours. Easy peasy. Alright, I like having a full party of four. It makes things easier. Where do I jump down from? Oh, right here. Okay. We got a path way off to the left. And now we have a cutscene. There's no guard. Do we just go in? Wait. 
This isn't what I expected. There's a barrier over it. They changed the security. You weren't kidding, were you? That scorpion and this barrier, all part of your curse. You'll be lucky if that's the worst of it. A direct assault would be a bad idea. What's the plan? Down the cliff, there should be an entrance used during the fortress's construction. We'll check that. Sounds like a plan to me. You did your research. I had to, didn't I? So, uh, Aizen basically has the same thing uh, Crow from Ruby has, where he's just got uh, some kind of innate ability that makes him bad luck to all those around him. Really unfortunate to work around. Hopefully it can also somewhat work against his enemies, like Crow from Ruby, where uh, when Crow fights people, bad luck befalls them during battle. There is a save point down there. So we are going to do whatever we have to to get to that save point and then wrap up for today. And then I'm going to render this out, and I actually haven't rendered the session before this either, so I've got like uh, two hours of six videos to render. And after I do that, I'll probably record some Kingdom Hearts. I need to do that soon. Is that the way in? This one's actually guarded. Which means there's no barrier. Let's move, everyone. Hooray, time for murder. Stop. Those guards are... Careful. They're not what they seem. They have guards that are prepared to transform into demons? What kind of curse is this, Aizen? I warned you, didn't I? Oh, yeah, that was pretty sick. I like that. Ah, uh, here we go. Now we're talking. Let me go ahead and consume you again, buddy. There we go. Awesome. Get this thing out of here. You wouldn't expect these guards to carry the demon blight. Is this your curse again? Probably. If I'd charged in, that might have turned ugly. Thank you for stopping me. Don't thank me. He's the one who noticed the danger. In that case, I'll be counting on you to keep watch. After all, we've got a Reaper with us. Who knows what else we'll find? Huh? She's saying it's all right to talk. Understood. Keeping watch. So apparently if you kidnap a Malakim from an exorcist, that, uh, that Malakim, like, just follows you from then on. Uh, devotee and enemy guru. I need to look into titles. I think that they actually do affect your stats and whatnot. Let's go ahead and, uh, there an enemy around me? Oh, yeah. The heck is that thing? Ew. What was that? Whatever. Give me this. Life bottle is very handy. Never know when I might need one. I don't think we've had anyone actually collapse in battle yet. What is this thing? Can I fight this? What are you? They're mauls. Ew. What are these things are disgusting. Also, my enemies have gotten up to level 12, and I'm, like, just now hitting level, uh... I think I'm just now hitting level 10, so... Probably do need to get some level ups going. Die, all of you. Oh, dude, I got five souls. We're gonna spam the crap out of my, uh, demon form. Come here, yo. Time to die. There we go. Ah, uh, look at that. Beautiful. If you want to live, get out of my way. I think you just said that to a bunch of dead people. Like, there's there's no getting out of our way now. They are gone. Should have given them that option beforehand. All right. Before I wrap up, do I have any uh, equipment stuff to do? You did master the amber garment already. Well, you've mastered everything, so I guess now it's just a matter of whatever gives the best stats, which appears to be this. This gives a little more fizz defense, but it takes down everything else too much. All right. So we're just going to keep on that for now. You have mastered the battle boots, but I don't think you're done. No, you still got a little bit more. Almost done, though. Uh, it doesn't look like anything else is mastered. So I need to get a different uh, shirt for Velvet at some point. And it looks like she's going to need a new belt and a new uh, sword soon as well. And uh, it should have... Yeah, I've got fire rings and resistant rings. She's already finished the resistance ring, but she can go to fire ring or earth ring next once she finishes up the void ring. So that's good, at least. All right, I do have these. 
uh, who has fought in many battles using Velvet, fight Flashy. Uh, a title for one who has endlessly practiced kicking seals. I pressed L and pressed down on it at the same time. I messed it up. Uh, a title for one who has inflicted status ailments on many foes. A title for one who has played the game for a length of time. Thanks for playing. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. I'm over uh, 300 minutes. Nice. Well, yeah, this is like my fifth hour of recording. It's the fifth session. A title for one who has stunned enemies repeatedly using arts. All right, and they do say what title skills you get. We'll worry about title skills later. I'm not going to worry about them too much right now, but I will mess around with them more at a different time. For now, though, let's just go ahead and save up the game. Am I? Yeah, I'm over an hour. We're at a good place to stop. All right, cool. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. When we come back next time, we're going to continue our assault on the uh, fortress here so that we can find a way to help Ifrit's pirates get through and make our way on towards the capital so we can murder Artorius, which won't happen for probably like another 30 uh, in-game hours, but we'll see. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Until then, farewell.